In this tutorial, we will look at the minimalist style of design. The best example of this is Google. As you can see on their website, which you will be familiar with, most of the website is completely devoid of any elements. The primary thing which is completely visible and obvious to everybody is its search box, which is its primary function. Other than that, there are very little things that are there, which is the choice of language. And if you are logged in, then they will show this login features. And there are multiple options which are shown at the top. These are various offerings from Google, which you can click and go to. So this website, which is primarily for search, is consists of only one search box which is the primary functionality now let us see some design examples of minimalist design so the best way to look for it is in google so we will google it so let us see again you can see in google that the primary thing that you see on the search results website is the search results. There is nothing else to distract you from it. Of late, Google has added certain other features which we talked about, like the settings. If you are logged in, it will detect it and show your login picture and other stuff that you can do through it. But the primary thing that is there in the Google site is what you, what is its primary functionality and doesn't deviate from that so let us click on one of them and see so here is an article on minimalist web designs which are pretty good so again these are the examples so you can see that this particular website has nothing else, no eye candy, nothing else, just pictures of what it sells. Similarly, this website it is very clean and to the point. We handcraft apps, that means they develop apps and they develop it in a custom manner. And there is nothing else to say suggest that there is anything else that is done in the website some small relevant details are also provided and there is actually absolutely no other things which are present you can go through the others examples that are given and you will see a similar theme which is followed but obviously as you can see the layouts are very different the websites deal with different functionality but the underlying theme is that very little material and completely relevant to the functionality. So there are a lot of examples which you can go through. And these examples are actually one of the best examples of minimalist design that you will find on the web. So you can go through it on your time or you can even go through other links too. There are lots of websites which will deal with this. So, we will look at another one briefly. Again, very similar. Very little number of elements and to the point and only related to its functionality. So I hope you have got the idea of minimalist design. You can even see some other links to get a more idea about how you can design a minimalist website. So there are lots and lots of examples that you can find on the net. As we have always said 
there is no right or wrong in this. If you like minimalist design, it is good. I'm sure a lot of your users will also like it. And it is one of the recommended ways to code design in modern websites. So you will not go wrong if you follow this particular style of design.